And in my personal experience, what usually turns a researcher on is that curiosity and the joy of discovering. Finding a problem that is just so interesting that you're going to dedicate years, if not decades, to solving that problem. I run the program in neurogenetics at UCLA and the Center for Autism Research. The essence of the work that we're doing is we use modern technology and tools to understand the causes of neuropsychiatric diseases such as autism so that we can then treat them. There are a few things that I'm most proud of in terms of discoveries. One is defining the molecular neuropathology in the autism brain, that is the changes at the gene level that are occurring in the autism brain. The second is the ability to make a genetically engineered mouse and study it and show that it has autistic features. We can actually begin to treat social abnormalities caused by genes that predispose to autism in humans. We're in this time of extraordinary promise where we have the most extraordinary tools we've ever had. So funding is critical to push this forward. I really think we're on the precipice in a very positive way of really a totally new neuropsychiatry. The Brain and Behavior Research Foundation is really critical in neuropsychiatric research. These kinds of awards and the kind of funding, especially to young investigators, is really remarkably important. When I started working in autism, I never imagined that we'd have the amount of progress that we have now. It gives me hope that we can even do more.